Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Avatar Frontiers of Pandora from the Ashes expansion game lagging, freezing, stuttering or low FPS issue on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to check system requirements of the game. So what you need to do is just go to the store option on Steam and after that search for the game and then go below and here you will find the system requirements to play the game. Make sure your PC have all the required specs and then try to launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to restart your pc as well as steam so steam users click on steam option then click on exit after that click on windows icon now click on power then select restart so this will restart your pc as well as steam once your pc restarts try to play the game and check if not next method is to update your graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for device manager now here you have to expand display adapters, select your graphics card, right click on it and then click on update driver and finally click on search automatically for drivers. So this will check and update your graphics drivers. Once done, launch the game and check. NVIDIA and AMD users go through the link I have already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to verify integrity of game files. So for that go to steam under library section select your game. Here I am showing an example. Now right click on it click on properties click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files so this will take some time once the game files are verified try to play the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to want modify launch options so for that go to steam select your game under library section right click on it click on properties now under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not Again, come back, type minus DX12 and then check whether it's launching or not. If the issue still continues, come back, remove the launch option and move to the next method. Next is to allow the game through firewall. So for that, go to the Windows search. Now search for Windows security. After that, click on firewall network protection, click on allow an app through firewall click on change settings and here you have to search for the game whether it's listed or not if not click on allow another app click on browse so now go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here after that select the game make sure both public and private boxes are ticked and then click on ok and after that launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to run game as administrator so for that again go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on browse local files so this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed now here you have to select the game application so select the game application after selecting it right click on it click on properties click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 click on apply and ok and launch the game if the problem still occurs come back select disable full screen optimizations click on apply and ok and after that again launch the game and check whether it's working now if not simply uncheck all of these click on apply and ok and then move to the next method next method is to disable in-game overlays so steam users go to steam click on steam option click on settings click on in-game and here you have to check if enable the steam overlay while in game option is enabled or disabled if it is enabled click on it to disable it and after it disabled now launch the game and check for GeForce Experience users, open GeForce Experience, tap on gear icon beside username, click on general and then switch off in-game overlay options from here. For Discord overlay, go to the user settings, game overlay tab, switch off enable in-game overlay option from here. Next is to close unnecessary background task. For that, go to the Windows search, search for task manager. Now here, under process tab here, you have to search for those apps which are of no use but still running in the background. You simply have to select them, right click on it and click on enter task. Once done. This will completely close the app from background and after that again launch the game and check if it's working now. If not next method is to update windows so for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates. This will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates. 
and it will search if there is any update available. If yes, update your windows to the latest version and then check. Next is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality, resolution etc then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So make sure to set up the settings properly and better is to lower the graphic settings to avoid any kind of unwanted issue. Next solution is to install Visual C++ files. So for that I have already provided the link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser. Or if you want you can also search for Visual C++ files on Google. Now once the website opens then go below from here you have to click on the link to download. Once the file is downloaded you have to open it and you will get a repair or install option. Whatever option you get simply click on a repair or install option and wait for some time. After you get set up successful message you have to click on the close option and after that restart your PC once. After restarting again launch the game and check. If not next method is to change virtual memory settings. So for that go to the windows search now search for view advanced system settings click on settings. Click on advanced click on change. Here it is select the drive where your game has been installed. After that click on custom size and in the initial size you have to type 12288. In the maximum size you have to type 24576. Now click on set and then click on ok. Once done launch the game and check if it's working now. If not next method is to perform a clean boot. So what you have to do is press windows plus R and have to type msconfig. Press enter. This will open system configuration page. Here you have to click on services. Now select hide all Microsoft services. Click on disable all. Once you have done this, go to the startup tab, click on open task manager. Here also you have to select the game application or whatever apps you want to disable. After selecting it, click on disable it. Once done, go back and then click on OK. And after that restart your PC once and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not. If not, next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card. So for that, go to the windows search, search for graphics settings. Now here you have to search for the game if it's listed. If not, click on add desktop app. Now go to the game folder, select the game application, add it to the list over here. Now after you add the game to the list, click on the uh, arrow icon under GP preference, select high performance and then launch the game and check whether it's working now. If the problem still occurs, then you are suggested to install DirectX once. So for that I have already given this link in the description, just copy and paste it in your browser. Now once the website opens here you have to click on the download option this will download the DirectX on your system install it after installing it uh, restart your PC once and then try to play the game and check if it's working if not then the final solution is to reinstall Avatar Frontiers of Pandora from the Ashes expansion game so for that go to Steam select your game under library section right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall finally click on uninstall option this will completely remove the game from your PC. After that restart your PC once. Once your PC restarts, reinstall Avatar Frontiers of Pandora from the Ashes game. And then click on play button to check whether you can play it now or not.